aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up guys, and of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And this time we're looking upon, of course, the two really, really strong fire types, being of course, Arcanine and Entei. And joining me today is, of course, one of my good friends and definitely the best Arcanine player I do know about, being, of course, Eric or Ashnakai. So make sure to check out his channel. It's going to be linked, of course, down below. Now, I'm more of an Entei player myself, so I'm going to be, of course, Team Entei. As, of course, Eric going to provide information on both of these Pokemon. Clearly, you know they share both the same typing, being, of course, Fire. Which is a very good defensive typing outside of the Stellar Proxy situation. But Fire type actually do resist a whole lot of things. Which makes these both Pokemon really, really good. Because they're bulkier, stronger, and actually quite speedier. They are below average base stats, and but still extremely similar. So, without further ado, of course, here is, of course, Eric. And, yeah, Eric, these two are similar, aren't they? That's right, I'm back again to talk about two Pokemon who in many ways, in my mind, are a very similar comparison um, along the lines of kind of Conkildur and Machamp, but I'll get into that in a little bit, because we're going to talk about who I think is better, Arcanine or Entei. So we'll start with their base stat totals. Um, Arcanine has 90 HP, 110 attack, 80 defense, 100 special attack, 80 sped def, and 95 speed, and Entei has 115 HP, 115 attack, 85 defense, 90 special attack, 75 sped def, and 100 speed. So Entei, Entei the faster, kind of harder hitting option um, with a higher HP stat. Um, their, their bulk is pretty similar um, aside, you know, if you if you don't take the HP into account, you know, 80, 80 versus 85, 75, not a lot there. Um, but Entei Entei's base stat total definitely tells in the 115 HP as compared with um, Arcanine's base 90. Um, Arcanine also has a 10 higher base special attack uh, uh, with 100 compared with 90. So if you're just looking at their base stat totals, I mean, Entei definitely seems the superior pick. Um, a lot of that due to its legendary stats. However, then you start to delve in a little bit deeper. Entei has only, only has access to pressure and inner focus, so not two, two abilities which are fairly situational and aren't kind of widely useful to, to it. Um, but then you look at Arcanine, who has Intimidate, Flash Fire, and Justified, so three really useful abilities. You know, the first two, um, far more so, you know, with Intimidate uh, allowing it to switch in and drop the attack of an adjacent opponent, or Flash Fire allowing it to come in, take uh, a, be immune to a fire attack, and be, then be suddenly very, very scary um, with its boosted uh, stab fire attacks. You also have Justified, which is not so commonly used, but like the ability to switch in on a dark type hit and get an attack raise um, definitely could is, is a situational option, which um, at least in draft league is something to think about. Um, so then you kind of, on the ability front, um, I would, like, Arcanine is definitely the one that stands out there, just as Entei kind of does um, in the base stat front. So finally, we move on to move pools. They both share a lot of moves, you know, stuff like um, Extreme Speed, you know, your standard Fire Coverage, Fire Blast, Flame Charge, Flame Thrower, Flare Blitz, um, Iron Head, Overheat, like, they have a lot of stuff which they share. Um, really where Entei stands out is in its access to a few moves. Um, it does get Calm Mind, which is kind of cool, um, but really uh, uh, Eruption, which is another thing which it gets, which Arcanine doesn't, which is a really potent, of course, special fire type hit, but it's not the thing which Entei really wants to go for. Um, it's strong in the sun, sure, but from 90 base special attack, any, if you take even the slightest bit of damage, it's gonna be a much less potent option than uh, than sacred fire so sacred fire is the move which kind of defines entei in the same way that dynamic punch kind of defines machamp um it's you know the the generally when you see an entei it's going to be banded with sacred fire extreme speed stone edge and a fourth move um just because you know a base 100 physical hit from a base 115 attack that has a 50 percent chance to burn is huge particularly up through to last gen when of course a burn on a bulky mon meant it was taking a, a good chunk of residual damage and this is what made entei so potent um in my opinion um, at least up until recently, with the changes to burn mechanics in Gen 7, one would argue that it's slightly less potent just because there are mons which would have been two hit KO'd after a burn by Sacred Fire, which now survived that. Um, I mean, so Entei, definitely, it's a very, very powerful, potent fire type mon. But if you actually look at its move pool, aside from Sacred Fire, it definitely shallows out a bit. Like, it doesn't have some coverage that it needs. Um, its best ground type move is Bulldoze at only base 60 power. Um, but really, it doesn't matter too very often because generally, if you, like I said, if you see an Entei, it's going to be... That is absolutely true. Entei simply are just locked into one position. It's been 
kind of niche, of course, in the start of the generations when it was introduced because it just didn't necessarily have anything to utilize its massive attack set. Well, of course, Arc Knight had the same kind of issue. It was resolved much, much earlier, of course, Generation 4 and Flare Blitz. And it didn't get Flare Blitz until actually Generation 5. And even at that, didn't necessarily help it all that much. It had only Fire Fang to rely on. So as, of course, Eric said it, there is nothing really redeeming about the NT, of course, to the next generation here, which, of course, Generation 6. And it got sacrificed by level up, which made this Pokemon a lot tougher to deal with because now you can run a Souls Vest, of course, very, very common, of course, a Bandit set, which of course, NT are, or Eric are actually mentioning. The other issues here are, that are still kind of commonly used but aren't as effective but are another set to NT if you want to use it like that is, of course, weakness policy with, of course, Sunny Day. And then, of course, utilizes the likes of Fire Blast and Solar Beam would, of course, call Mind. As said, not as effective, but that's the old set was used, of course, on NT and did work kind of well. This is, of course, generation with weakness policy in mind. But it's very, very true that this is all NT really gets. And while there are powerful, or you know, the power alone, Triumph Arcanine in so many ways, Arcanine has, of course, more options. And this, of course, is something that Eric's going to, of course, enforce on now, clearly. Oh, uh, there's a big advantage which Arcanine gains over Entei here in Moopool, um, and that is in reliable recovery. Arcanine does get Morning Sun, which instantly combined with Intimidate makes a bulky set far more potent than uh, than a bulky set does on Entei. I mean, I've seen bulky Entei with sub and whatnot, but um, you really can't argue that um, Arcanine with access to Intimidate um, as well as Morning Sun... Um, and then will o wisp and snarl like it, it and toxic you know it has the full kind of move pool that it needs in it combined with that ability um to be a much to give it much more staying power than entei has in addition it has a wider coverage move pool um in because it gains access to things like crunch close combat um it also wild charge and in Gen 7, it gained access to a, a brand new mo option called, um, in the form of Burn Up, a base 130 um, special attack, which is 100% accurate and removes its fire type at the end of that turn. So a very, very potent um, special fire hit, which you could say, um, because it loses its typing after using it, that it makes it an even better bulky mon, because although it doesn't have the fire type um, resistances anymore, it also doesn't have those weaknesses. Um, you know, they do share a lot of moves, you know, stuff like Solar Beam, um, Arcanine gains access to Thunder Fang, of course, which is inferior to Wild Charge. It gains access to Agility, which is important to note, but... Um, Basically, as I'm, I'm, I've been talking for like five minutes now. It's I should probably get to my conclusion. That is, who do I think is better? This combo, these two Pokemon to Machamp Conkeldur is because it very much it, the comparison is pretty similar. You have Entei, which is potentially the more potent offensive option, um, but it really only has one um, set which it likes to run, um, and it's you know it's 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 very often going to be Bandit Sacred Fire, Charcoal Sacred Fire, just Sacred Fire, Sacred Fire, Sacred Fire. In the same way that Machamp generally is going to spam dynamic. Punch. Arcanine, on the other hand, has a lot of different options that it can, you know, a lot of different roles it can perform on the team. Um, you know, it can be a fire immunity, it can be a fire resist with intimidate, it can be a dark type switching with justified, and due to its move pool, um, it can hit a lot more things than Entei can super effectively. And generally, I think has a much wider number of roles that it can play on the team due to its higher, you know, its its very balanced stats and um, higher special attack. So. Which one do I think is better? Um, I'm going to go with Arcanine here. Um, like, they're both very, very potent fire types, but um, in the same way that I, I said Conkelder was better due to its greater flexibility and greater staying power and just the wider number of roles that it can perform on the team, in the same way, um, I think Arcanine, due to its flexibility and the fact that it can do a number of different things very well, um, as opposed to Entei, who just kind of does one thing, um, and one thing that in many ways was kind of nerfed in this, um, in this last gen um i think that that definitely um gives the nod to arcanine here you know it's a very bulky it's a bulky fire type who can very much be a more defensive mon or a very very potent offensive threat you know with a choice band or a life orb um and that right there i think is and i do agree here with eric and also thank you so much for of course wrapping this episode just fluently here i really had a script of my own when going into this video but after listening to eric's responses and of course his arguments for making of course arcanine better over entei I really didn't feel that my input would be much better. I definitely feel that he is on spot and definitely deserves this whole episode. I use a wide thank you for, of course, making it so distinguished why Arcanine is better than Entei. And it's very true. Entei might actually have been considered better between these two in the previous generation, of course, Generation 6. But with, of course, a burn nerf and, of course, a new move with Burnout, 
Not only did Ente get slightly nerfed, but Arcanine got a new viable defensive option, and one really has to take that into consideration. Arcanine is just more widely used, it has more maneuverability, it's much more unpredictable. Even though, of course, the defensive set is the one that most people are reliant on, this Pokemon does pack a punch offensively, and of course with a broader move pool than, of course, Entei, it's just that much tougher to deal with. So, it's very easy to see, of course, why Arcanine would win between these two, but it's a still a you know, strong nod to Entei. It's still a very, very dangerous Pokemon. The Sacrifier is still Sacrifier and a very, very dangerous hit. And, of course, without the recall, making Entei a very, very, very bulky and definitely bulkier standalone Pokemon or Arcanine. But as stated, Morning Sun makes that difference just not matter that much. And considering that both are weak to self rocks, it's very good that one of them at least have some type of recovery to leads come back. That's, you know, the most important part about the defensive Pokemon. You gotta be able to come back. And they can't do that role. It's an offensive wall breaker with, of course, a very, very dangerous speed, extreme speed. But since Arcanine can do the same thing and just slightly weaker, it just bases up that Arcanine has to be considered the best between these two. So, with that said, I want to thank, of course, everybody for, of course, watching this episode. It became a lot longer than I was intending it to, but it's really important to dis define, of course, the difference between these two Pokemon, because while they are really, really similar, the things that changes their apart is so important to mention, because they're just making them unique in their own way. Uh, I still would consider these to be equal terms when it comes to tiers, but they do things differently, and with that in mind, Arcanine is, of course, the better between these two. So, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and take care. Bye.